Hello, I would like to demonstrate my recent accomplishments with the construction of the V-Gate magnetic array based permanent magnet motor. I decided not to get any parts machine on the lathe, custom machined, and I decided to save money. Instead, I used this standard Lego part and using the holes and the pins that I could push through them, I managed to center and glue in very precisely this ring magnet here and on this side in the opposite direction, opposite pole. I realized, I measured all those diameters from different angles and came to a conclusion that they are very round and that Lego plastic casting process is phenomenally precise and I decided to just use a standard Lego axle and put all those pieces on this axle and that would be my four inch wide from lip to lip uh, roller, just like in the previous design. I made two different types of magnet blocks that I would arrange in V's using different turntables and other standard Lego hardware. Some are made like this and others are made like this, as bricks. I also considered getting a 3D printer and printing my own parts, but that may never happen. I don't know if I will ever get there. I managed to glue those green things onto PVC sheet, and unfortunately I didn't realize it from the very beginning, but I had to drill holes so the glue could ooze out and air pockets could come out. I firstly glued it on and then I drilled more holes to get out air pockets and to pour in more glue. And those two parts, this one and this one, they spent maybe three weeks between two mirrors with some weights on, gluing together. So this project kind of froze because I need to order a 4 inch plastic strip for this to roll on. Just like in the previous project. I should either use a piece of snapped off, scored and snapped plexiglass from a hardware store, just like in the previous project. Or I should get it custom milled to this precise width because I need three precise surfaces. I need the top surface to be precise but I also need the edges to be precise so those flanges can roll against the outer edge and not get caught too much. Again I don't know how to describe it with engineering terms in terms of the quality of machining that I need but that's what I need and this is kind of where I decided to wait. I, I'm not sure what I want. I don't want to make any more costly mistakes. But this thing sort of works like this. See, you can already I can already demonstrate the effect. Uh, yeah, with Lego I would have a lot more freedom to try different geometries and combinations and different V-gates and hopefully we can make some science out of it. Maybe some mathematician will help me model the magnetic fields and help me prove that indeed a part can escape with a greater velocity than it comes in and uh, this this actually this is actually a very convenient configuration for coming up with a mathematical theory and then maybe this mathematical theory will lead to a device that would be able to accelerate this uh, uh, enough that we can have this thing go in a circle maybe at some point it would be a, a polygon with many tables like this arranged, let's say, in a hexagon or an octagon shape and it would just keep rolling in a circle. Maybe there would be a more compact version of that made by then. Something like a permanent magnet motor with a shaft coming out of it. But maybe we'll never get there. I just think it's a cool experiment. I think of it as a kinematic sculpture. I will keep you posted when I get this track on. I would like some input from you in terms of what track I need. I would also like some input in terms of uh, how can I conveniently fasten this piece and this piece together without using any steel or iron parts that can create 
magnet, magnet, un, unwanted magnetic attraction. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button.